What's up YouTube? My name's Kenneth. Today we have another unboxing from HK Now Store. So here we have the pre-order of the Feng Shui Zhen Ren and I ordered this a long time ago. It took a very long time to get here and I'm now finally opening it. So let's get started. So here you can see the DIY version of this puzzle and part of the reason it took so long I guess there was a delay and so because of that Calvin put a little bit of his Calvin lube in all the pre-orders so here we can see the puzzle I think we should put it together here's a montage of me assembling the puzzle and you can see these pieces are very unique they're not quite like any other 3x3 I've ever seen I really like how it all fit together anyway putting the puzzle together wasn't that difficult but I did find it hard to find the right tension I spent a lot of time with the puzzle without the stickers on, uh, trying to get the tension right and just uh, playing with it and seeing what I thought of it. Finally. So the puzzle is all stickered up and I think I'm not really the, a fan of the colors of the stickers that came on it. I don't like the red, especially it's kind of transparent and muted. It's not very bright. It's You can kind of see the bubbles. And the orange is kind of the same way. White is uh, very good, yellow is good, blue is okay, and green is okay. It's just, it's just not the kind of shade of colors I, I prefer. So uh, that was too bad, but the uh, turning quality is, is quite good. It's very fast. Um, I have it pretty loose and it's popping every once in a while, but I think if I tighten it, it won't pop as often. I'm also getting a lot of these corners will twist every once in a while, so I definitely have it too loose currently. But uh, anyway, it's kind of fun. It turns really well. It corner cuts amazingly. Um, it's very fast. Uh, I'm very pleased with the speed. Corner cutting is pretty amazing. It's some of the best I've ever seen. It's uh, doing more than half a turn, more than 45 degrees. So that would be 45 and I'll go past it and it still turns, which is amazing. The reverse corner cutting is not quite as good but it's not quite as important. Most of your finger tricks will be kind of optimized, I think, for a normal cu corner cutting. But it doesn't pop, which is pretty amazing. It's amazing how much it it kind of will, you know, deform and misshape and, and it, it doesn't pop. It stays together, which is pretty impressive. So I think the corner cutting is top notch. It's very good stuff. Usually when I do an unboxing of a speed cube, I give it a solve, even though I'm not much of a speed cuber, but I'll solve it for you guys anyway. All right, let's inspect. All right, I might set you. That was a fast one for me, so yeah, I kind of got uh, a little bit lucky because uh, I remembered my algorithm, which I don't always do. Uh, I don't remember all my algorithms that I once had memorized, but this one I remembered, so I got a little faster than usual. But yeah, uh, this puzzle really works well for my turning. I really like it. I think it's my uh, new favorite cube. I think it's better than the Zanshi, the, at least the way I have it tensioned now. So what are my final thoughts on the Feng Shi Sheng Jin? It's a very solid speed cube. I, I think you would be happy with it. I don't really have much complaints with it, except for maybe that the uh, corners spin in place pretty easily, I think. And maybe if I tighten my tension, that wouldn't happen. But for the most part, it's a solid cube. So I definitely recommend it. If you are a speed cuber, you want a really good review on this puzzle, definitely check out Cubix's video. He did a great job on reviewing it from the perspective of, speed, of a speed cuber. So check that one out if you like. And that's it for this video. I am actually going to be gone for the next two weeks. I'll be in Europe and I'm really excited about my trip to Europe. I've never been to Europe before. I can't wait. I'm gonna meet some very cool people. And uh, when I get back, I'll be uh, excited because I have some really cool videos planned up ahead. But the next video, which comes out in two weeks, is already shot and scheduled. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day.